back to the road to get cooking and I hope you all are well keeping yourself busy and warm today it was chilly when I got up and I thought this would be a good day to make some chicken pot pies so um, let me show you how I put my pot pies together and I hope that you have some fixings so you can make you some chicken pot pies too because there's nothing better in the winter time than chicken pot pies all right so let's get started here's my fixings this morning when I got up I roasted me some chicken which I had marinating overnight in my ranch dressing and it is so good if you like ranch chicken you will love this recipe so I'm going to take, that, take those off the bones and I'm going to be using uh, mixed vegetables rice broccoli excuse me rice cauliflower fresh broccoli and these are some potatoes that I canned uh, 714 and I use that's parsley from my garden and um, green onions from my garden that I seasoned up with so I'm real curious to I'm real excited to taste those and I made some bone broth and for the top of my um, chicken pot pies I'm going to be using puff pastries and I have two different kinds of garlic, uh, excuse me, two different kinds of onions because you know me and my onions. I have some caramelized onions which I caramelized a couple weeks ago. And then I have some fresh onions if I want to add some more to it. And I want to be adding some roasted garlic. Well, that's another thing I make a bunch of and I keep them in my freezer bags. And that way, whenever I want some fresh garlic, I just take out a little bundle and I'm good to go. See? Plan ahead. I keep telling you, plan ahead. <laughs> so nice to just grab something and go. Let me debone my chicken and then I'll see you back here in a second. Here's the wreath that my neighbor's wife made. Isn't it pretty? I hope the colors, I hope you can see all them vibrant colors. I have it hanging up on my um, <laughs> on my hallway door and I haven't put up my Christmas decorations yet and I probably will do that after Thanksgiving because I'm not one of these people that put up Christmas decorations in November. Come on now. I got time for that. We ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? That is just gorgeous. She hand, I love handmade I love handmade stuff like this. Look at that. All of the gifts on there and the bows and the garland. That's so pretty. I love that bow. I'm warming up my bone broth. And in this pot, I started off with five tablespoons of butter and equal parts flour. Five tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to cook that and until it's nice and brown. And then I'll be adding in the bone broth. And after I get it all put together, I will sample it for flavor. And if I need to add anything, I will do so at that time. And I add just a little bit more flour. Oh, that's, better. that's better. It's getting a little bit browner, almost where I want it. I just want to cook it long enough to cook out the flour taste. That's looking pretty doggone good. I think I'm going to leave it right there. And from there I'm going to add my bone broth, just a little bit at a time. Yeah, sounds good already. Mm 
And there's our gravy. Just like that. And gravy is so easy to cook. I don't know why people buy gravy. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. But that's just me. Let me give this a quick taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Don't think I need much in there. But I am going to add a little bit more salt. With my little jar of salt. <laughs> that should do it. And a little bit of pepper. be able to tell by the size of the bubbles whether it's to the thickness that I want it. It's beginning up just nicely. So I got my three spoons. <laughs> so I can sample as I go. Mmm, that's perfect. It was already perfect, but now it's really perfect. my roasted garlic. Oh my goodness. Too bad you guys don't have scratch and sniff because that, oh, that garlic. Oh, man, oh man. Just a little bit. Caramelized onions going in. See what I mean by having everything all cut up? It's just so convenient to put this together and I put it together in all of what? Five minutes? Ten minutes? <laughs> oh, that looks wonderful. We get a few more. Put a little bit, a couple of drops of this Maggi seasoning. And a splash of half and half. That's more in a splash, but that's okay. Okay, in 
but since I added all that stuff in it, let me taste it one more time. See if I need to adjust my salt. Mm -mm. It's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. I'm going to let this cook down for about 10 minutes. And then I'll get my puff pastries ready. Mm, 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 mm. How could I forget this? I'm going to put a couple of dashes of my vegetable seasoning in here. Can't go wrong with that. Oh yeah. Another clean spoon. <laughs> A bite here. Mmm. Oh yeah. That did it. Mm mm mm. Yum. Okie dokie. Let that cook down for about five minutes. All right. Off camera, I put all of my um chicken pot pie mixture in freezer dishes and I kept out enough for me to make mine today a bowl full of that and then this one is for my neighbor sister Jackie and the rest of these are going to go in the freezer I got my um, rolling pan and my dough sheet out here's my puff pastry And I'm going to go ahead and cut it into the um, size that I want it for my topping. Okay, so this is the size of my bowl. Just cut the sheet into fours. And then I'll roll it out to fit the top of the bowl. The rest of these I'm going to put in the freezer. So all I got to do is grab them and go. These are going in the freezer. So when I need them, I'll have them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So each one of these containers, I'll be able to. I'm going to make them. I won't make them as big as this one because I haven't eaten today. That's why I'm having such a big pot pie today. But each one of these will make me two pot pies. So that'll give me two, four, six, six meals right there. I'm going to make some egg wash. And I'm going to use the whole egg. Parmesan cheese. That should be good. Okay, and into the oven is going. And here is my finished pot pie. And you ought to smell my kitchen. It smells absolutely divine. Now my pot pie went into a 375 degree oven. I let it cook for about 20 minutes until it was golden and brown on the top and nice and bubbly around the edges. And it is time to eat. So grab a chair, grab a plate, and let's have some dinner. And here is the best part is pouring yourself a nice glass of wine and believe it or not this wine paired beautifully with this meal and that's my favorite wine it is my absolute favorite and don't forget the water and there's my dessert some diced cantaloupe now tell me how many of you do this where you take when you're eating a chicken pot pie or any kind of pot pie and you just Put that crust down in the bottom there and just mix it all together and there's nothing better than that now you know I have to get a few close-up pictures for you because you guys have got to see this up close and personal <laughs> look at that mm, 
and it is so hot but I know it's gonna be so so good nice big pieces of chicken and sometimes I you know I like to mix up the the brown the dark chicken and the light chicken and the Ferrari Serrano there the wine here this is what I use to make my berry wine jelly. Now the recipe is from the ball canning book and the recipe called for dry white wine but I don't like just plain old dry white wine. I like to make recipes with wine that I enjoy drinking so that's what I use is my wine. Alright back to the business at hand here and I know I'm gonna burn my mouth up but I'm gonna do that just for you guys because I always take one for the team. Okay, here's your bite. Take your bite, quick. And it's super good. It's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Told ya. I told ya. <laughs> I was just being silly. You guys know me. But this pot pie is absolutely delicious. Oh, oh, and look at the photo bomber. Look at her. And when I tell you she just got finished eating, and she's looking like she's starving to death. And I had to mute the sound again because she was over there slurping and smacking and rattling her bowls and just uh, just being Sophie. <laughs> she was just being Sophie. But this, oh my God, this chicken pot pie is the bomb. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up because it is absolutely delicious. And when you make this chicken pot pie, uh, make sure you pair it with a delicious bottle of wine and I highly recommend this wine if you need a suggestion but if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and spending a few minutes of your time with me and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell that way you be notified each and every time I upload a new video Enjoy the rest of your weekend and the week ahead. Stay safe, be blessed, and keep on cooking.